Welcome to Unbiased and On the Fence. I'm Shane. So glad you could join me today while well, we're talking about the Schumann resonances. So I think there's a lot of uh, misunderstanding as it relates to the Schumann resonances. So I wanted to do a quick uh, uh, video to explain why you might hear scientists say the Schumann resonances are increasing, but then you'll hear other people saying they are, and uh, which is right. Uh, well, technically the scientists are more technically correct because uh, like scientists should be they're more precise with their terminology and if you're saying the Schumann resonance uh, is increasing you're actually saying the frequency itself is increasing and a lot of times when people say that they're not meaning that the frequency itself is increasing as much as they're talking about the amplitude of it increasing so um, to make it simple I got a guitar let me grab it here so if you think of a note on a guitar right here i'll play a higher note so maybe it'll come through let's see so when someone says the schumann resonance is increasing they're talking about the loudness of it like it's being plucked louder right softer and louder when a scientist says it's not increasing they're saying it's not increasing in frequency like actually changing the note so that's where the divide comes in scientists are actually technically correct uh, the Schumann resonance is at, is at here I'll show you this graph here 7.8 14 20 26 33 39 45 and we we have another uh, around 60 but of course that is uh, where our electronics are at so they don't test that because we get a lot of interference as it relates so each of these are the different Schumann resonances um, some instruments only really check these first four so when we say it's increasing you're technically saying it's changing note like the 7.8 is going to 8 and 9 and 10 and 11 and increasing that way when in actuality you're saying the 7.8 is getting louder um, which is technically not proper to say that it's increasing because it's technically the amplitude of the resonance is increasing would be a more technically correct way of saying it so when we look at the instruments you often see they'll show uh, these instruments here let me scoot this over here you see uh, we got um, one through six right here each one of these are different locations uh, in the world and you can scroll down and you can actually see the locations one is USA two Saudi Arabia three Lithuania four is Canada five is New Zealand six is South Africa so we're looking at different locations these are the days that we're looking at here now when I was talking in the beginning about the actual different levels of the Schumann resonances the different frequencies that's what we're seeing with these uh, lines within each of these here and it actually says that below that the graphs are showing between 1 and 50 Hertz so between the bottom and the top is 1 and 50 Hertz here so when we're seeing these lines here we're seeing those Schumann resonances as they spike at these um, uh, different frequencies here so when you actually see it get brighter like here you're seeing the frequency didn't change technically you just saw that uh, if these are each frequencies here you see they're not like sort of bending upward they're staying straight but they're getting brighter which means that they're getting louder sort of so to speak sort of like a uh, wind chimes you got these wind chimes and they're all dinging louder if you will in these bright spots 
and here here's a pretty good example and you can see all of these are sort of you see uh, between all six instruments on these two days you can sort of see these spikes or where the loudness increased and if we go down to the actual graph you can see here again we have all of them responding together this is uh, the same six locations here um, in the world so you're seeing all six locations and instead of seeing each individual uh, frequency it's just showing you the overall frequency and it even says here on the on the graph which I think is misleading for a lot of people but it's showing you that we're looking at between 0.32 and 36 Hertz the power of how much they're putting out in this range right here so this isn't 300 Hertz this is actually probably measured in I don't know watts or voltage or something because we're talking about power not the frequency so if you were to hear this it would get louder it wouldn't go up in tone so to speak hopefully that makes sense and uh, a good way to check whenever you see them all go up like that is uh, you can go to the integrated space uh, weather analysis website there is a link in the description below and this is where I actually got the cool sun things from too but under magnetosphere you can see the the magnetic uh, lines around the earth are protection so to speak how uh, you know you got the closed loops well you remember on the 30th we had all of them sort of the, sort of went up right well you can actually see looks like we got hit with some kind of solar wind or something that pushed our magnetic field um, if you can imagine the Sun would be this direction really far away of course but um, at least in the globe earth model for you flat earthers I don't want to upset any of you guys but the the Sun would be this direction really far away sending uh, you know the, the uh, solar wind this way and it sort of pushed our magnetic field back right there so you can actually see it looks like we got hit by something magnetic that pushed our magnetic our uh, magnetosphere back for a while in fact you can see these closed loops went way way back that's crazy but that could directly correlate with what we see with the uh, this data here on April 30th the same day so when we look at the current date um, whenever you see these blackout zones here you can see that what we're looking at here is this flat line right here would be black on this up here so it wasn't receiving data for whatever reason same way with here I guess we would see one kind of drop yeah that's one says so drops down to uh, it's just off the screen a little bit isn't it pull us over a little bit but basically you can see it went all the way down and that's why we see the black this go black up here on two which two once again would be Saudi Arabia so when we look at this here we're actually looking at the power or how hard the frequency that didn't change is being strummed um, and so when people say it's increasing uh, and scientists say it isn't it's because scientists are looking at what you're saying technically and technically the frequency isn't changing it's staying within its normal ranges but the amplitudes are increasing and that's what people are referring to so to sort of clear up the uh, you know just the whole misunderstanding where it sounds like you got two people saying opposite things um, it's just people aren't technically speaking about it properly as you can see over this is back in October here you know we started hitting some levels we've never seen or not never seen but we hadn't we haven't seen in a while at least here when this is getting up pretty high but then up here in Canada you can see what is that 1100 it's gotten to let me close the range so we can get a better view here yeah 1176 and we got these two going up too so you know being that this one is a spike here just sort of like the green spiked 
that's pretty high there actually this just makes it not look so high but that's actually pretty high as well and this is real recent data what is this the uh, 27th of July and uh, 29th of July so we're seeing these levels that are extremely uncommon just in the last few days because I can go back we haven't seen levels like that you know and uh, that's August of last year we haven't had anything coming anywhere remotely near that but that's not to say that being that this sort of spiked by itself uh, to that extreme level and that is 04 which is uh like i said canada there could have been something going on up there as far as uh weather or weather related so what really strums the uh what strums these louder and softer um i got a link in the description you can go uh check it out but this lady does a great job at really breaking everything down technically if you want to look into more of this i'm going to play about i don't know a minute or so of her sort of explaining what's strumming because this is what's vibrating the earth and the resonance of uh the human resonance uh all of the resonances i should say and um, here we have just a, a basic diagram of what we might call the global electrical circuits. Uh, this is taken from a, a, a research paper, but just gives you a nice little indication of what happens. The charged particles from the solar wind, from coronal mass ejection, um, enter our atmosphere. They increase the charge capacity within here and to a large extent. They then provide the fuel for electrical discharge in the form of lightning strikes in the lower atmosphere. So it's these lightning strikes that tend to initiate or activate or excite the Schumann resonances that we observe. So she does a, a that's Julie Ampleby. Uh, she's got the Diamond Light World channel as well as a website. Uh, both linked below in the description. You can check her out because like I said, she does a, a wonderful job at really getting technical about it. If, if that's your thing and you want to really look into what causes these spikes and everything. And uh, that will help you to understand technically what's going on with the Schumann resonances and why a scientist may say that the frequencies aren't increasing because it's actually uh, the amplitude that people are referring to when they say the Schumann resonances had a peak or they increased. They're actually talking about uh, not the key of the string being plucked changing, but how loud it was being plucked. So, um, yeah, you got to be precise with your terminology. And I just wanted to clear that up because I've said it before, too. Um, and uh, I don't want to, you know, be spreading disinformation about the Schumann resonances because uh, a lot of people refer to it inaccurately not you know on purpose but they're really referring to the loudness rather than the frequency itself increasing to a different note if you will so that will wrap up this uh, broadcast and I will uh, see you guys in the next one appreciate you guys watching have a good one